Hello, Nuvi6 here and this is a video about guide for new doctors with at least 3 to 6 months of continuous gameplay in IS3, Mizuki and Kairula Abba. <laughs> and yeah, this is pretty much similar with other integrated strategy. It's just that the starting operator and and the recommended operator are different compared to the previous one if you watch my previous video for IS2 I would like to give my gratitude thank you for watching that one and for the operator lineup between IS2 and this IS3 is different and of course pretty much similar to the IS2 I highly recommend you to try upgrade the the status or the research to the left of the main page UI of IS3 here. Try to get try to get anything that help in terms of the survivability of your operators their status as well as try to get uh, you will eventually able to max all of them but what you're going to focus is about trying to give more survivabilities for your operators this is my recommended mode of action so for the game mode try to unlock one particular game mode I forgot the name it is the description goes like this for your journey i think <laughs> like every combat node that you clear you will gain extra collectibles because other game modes are pretty much generic to me and they don't hold much of a value so go for this one because this one is very unique and who knows you will get one collectible that will make things much easier for you to clear the gameplay of course similar to is2 as well that you are going to need multiple runs in order to unlock this game mode so try to use other game modes first as for the starting operators go with the following at least uh, sniper defender and caster for caster i highly recommend you to go for yafiala for the caster and use skill 2 for her s2 defender go for spot for your primary healer the only healer that you are going to rely and i believe you're going to have sniper here yeah. for sniper go for cruise because you're going to save up your hope save hope at least nine of them nine hopes and okay so on your journey i highly recommend the following operator Silver Ash, Saria, Backpipe, Cruise Altar. Yeah, at least these operators, I believe four of the operators that has been mentioned. Saria, Silver Ash, Backpipe, Cruise Altar. Yeah, at least four of these. Ah yeah, almost forgot another one, the fifth one, which is Honeyberry for elemental damage healing the elemental damage because most of the enemies in IS3 you will be dealing with enemies that can deal elemental damage that means your operator will be easily stunned and that will create a hole in your defense for silver ash is for crowd control and it is high and he is very useful for the basic boss 
in the fifth floor later you are going to need him Yafiala for her crowd control similar to blast caster but she is much cheaper to use Saria for the best defense and healing honeyberry or mulberry but go for honeyberry because she is cheaper compared to mulberry uh, this one already been mentioned earlier but I'll just mention it again to heal any elemental damage so that your operator will not go into stun will not be stunned it's not about will not be stunned pretty much reduce the chance of being stunned <laughs> Uh, backpipe is for DP region and slight lane holding. What next? What's next? Ah, uh, yes, cross altar because she can do stuns for her second skills as well as her talent. Another operators, another class, other class. That is supporter as well as specialist. I personally do not recommend them. Yeah, I don't recommend them. So try to go for at least these operators. They are low flyer enemies, and you are going to need cruise altar in order to stun them so that they are pull to the ground and able to be blocked by your ground operators this is actually true for some other stages or nodes combat nodes that require only snipers to deal damage against those low altitude flyers or low flyers um, yeah, there, there are some other stages that are run, that are unreachable by your ground enemies and the routes taken are only taken by those low flyers. <coughs> uh, as for the routes, same thing, try to avoid emergency nodes as much as you could. You can tackle emergency node but I highly recommend to restrict them only on first and second floor they are still easy on those floors uh, encounter node try to reduce traversing through the encounter nodes similar to the previous video I used to as well um yeah try to focus on the mentioned operators earlier i'll repeat the mentioned operators that you can use in order to clear the basic boss for is3 here let's see cruise altar silver ash Giafiela, healing defender saria of course vanguard Vanilla, Fang, uh, Backpipe. For God, other than Silver Ash, nothing interesting. Maybe try to get Mountain if you have some spare hopes. Yeah, Mountain. She, he is good because he is like a mini blaze, which do not have any long setup time compared to blaze let's see uh other than yafiela maybe golden glow how about click because click also has some mini stunts she is going to be useful as well for the low flyers later on i think i think that's it there are other alternate endings for IS3 as well I personally able to clear all of the ending but 
they require meta operators already such as Nina uh, right now we already have Dagen Breaker and we are going to need both in order to easily clear those extra extra endings or alternate endings but that is not the main focus you're going to get the rewards anyway and some other free operators and materials of course uh let's see back when i tried to tackle on is3 i thought this is going to be similar to is2 i tried to use similar lineup as is2 which is to use tons as my starting operator for six star but he's just bad in this is3 here <laughs> he's just bad and i felt quite a lot and after i played is3 for months i tried to go back to is2 again and i got rusty in is2 <laughs> i got rusty but trying to remember what i did for is2 um pretty much recently that is the previous video i'm able to tackle the stages in is2 without much difficulties although the difficulty used or ascension only the basic but you still need the basic one in order to level up your level in order to gain the rewards anyway if you're feeling adventurous why not go for higher ascension or higher difficulty it's up to you guys anyway because this video and what i talked earlier is mainly about for new doctors why minimum of three months of continuous gameplay is because by this time you already you should already able to unlock operators to be upgraded into elite 2 or e2 and and of course you are going to need to max out some of the operators so a minimum of three months of gameplay are required yeah i think i think that's it for for the guide of is2 here nothing much to say if you are able to get some other operators that don't require hope to recruit try to test them and see if that particular operator is good for your game play or play style uh, they can be fun they can be fun and yeah Thank you for watching this video, Nubisix signing out. Have a good day. Bye.